beautiful people welcome back hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world once again katie joy has hijacked a morbid disgusting situation and made it all about herself so before i go off because one thing i cannot take is when someone acts as though everyone else is dumb or an idiot and they have done no wrong or they are above everybody else also i decided to treat you guys and show you one of katie joy's posts that she made this morning how katie joy does go outside and smell the flowers i don't think she goes outside to touch any grass but as you can see she says she woke up to see these beauties blooming before that my usual disclaimer please do not take what i say as fact feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion another disclaimer on my back porch once again girls and i just got out of the pool with the baby and it was absolutely amazing so if you do hear any noise apologize but so i would like to dedicate this video to this specific person who they know who they are and that felt so inclined to lead this message and obviously I can only speak for myself. Well, as for being like a mean girl, that's one thing, sweetheart, I've never ever been as a mean girl. I've always stood my ground, I've always put my money where my mouth is and I've always been upfront and never too afraid to speak my piece, act the way I need to act and just always do the right thing. Unlike Katie Joy, and definitely not a coward like Katie Joy, not a punk like Katie Joy, and definitely not a condescending, patronizing narcissist. And I say that because she actually admitted to being a narcissist. I highly suggest that you go and watch EKC People Sucks video from yesterday, which I will link down below, where she educates people about the blogs that Katie Joy used to post. And once again, Katie Joy admits to being a narcissist. So I'll leave that link down below. Please go and watch it. You will be left with your mouth wide open. Oh, with all that said, this person that was so inclined to have left that message calling me and other people who I don't know who she's speaking about, mean girls, please watch this video. And when I prove what a liar what a vindictive, manipulative, coward Katie Joy is. Get back to me. Back to what I was saying. Katie, the one that thinks she is the most intelligent and more important than any other by treating people like they are stupid idiots. And she acts also high and mighty when all she is is a low life, hide behind the keyboard, type to act strong and powerful and important, whereas she has nothing of the above. When she decided to speak on the Colleen Ballinger situation, she obviously was not getting any engagement. So she decided to insert herself. Katie has 101,000 followers on Facebook. When she shared her opinion on Colleen Ballinger and post about Colleen Ballinger, as you can see on her first post, she only got three comments. Nothing that mentions anything about her. In her second post, she gets 50 comments. Still nothing mentions her or anyone saying anything about not reporting on the story. One thing I can say is that a lot of comments have been deleted from that post and the ones that are left, majority of those comments are for Colleen Ballinger. They have no issues with Miranda Sings and allows their kids to watch her. Post number three, two comments, only two comments. Then she makes this post. A snapshot of the headlines by major media outlets who are interviewing the children, now adults, that were groomed, exploited and bullied by Colleen Ballinger. It astounds me that I can't even report on a major news story without people accusing me of attacking her. To the hate that told me, you have no reason to talk because you locked your son in a room for 10 hours. Seek help. I have been on the receiving end of fandoms attacking me for years. I have been accused of abusing my son, swatted and stalked. My son was never one time ever locked in a room. My son had home care nurses that are with him every day. When this allegation was made, the same group accused my husband of hitting my son in the face with a closed fist. We had CPS and police here multiple times over these false allegations. Our nurses spoke directly to CPS and told them factually we have never abused, hit, punched, spanked, or locked our son in a room, ever. My husband spent an afternoon in our room with our dog, and he said he spent 10 hours upstairs. He was exaggerating. Amazing how you fools will twist that. I have never once been accused of grooming a minor. I do not speak to minors, 
in DMs nor participate in fandom chats with my followers out of protection for me. Maybe you mean to say you no longer. Being stalked and having women create child pornography with my son's face and try to murder me with cops was my hint to protect myself and family. So stop deflecting and focus on the task at hand. Colleen Ballinger and her family grooming, exploiting and harming minors. So let me focus on this task at hand. And this task is proving what a liar Katie Joy is. She so badly wants attention and wants to keep up with this role of being prolific, problematic, a liar, vindictive, manipulative human being. Let's give you that attention you so desperately want. The video clip that I'm going to play for you that has not been tampered with. Listen to this and make your own mind up. Are you the fool that Katie Joy is claiming you are? Or is she the disgusting, gaslighting human being for allowing her son to be locked in a room for 10 hours? Katie Joy and all those others, in regard to her being on the receiving end of fandoms attacking you. In my opinion, knowing now the wrong that you have done to so many people, I'm not surprised by that. So KJ, tell me something. What else could one say about you allowing your son to be locked in a room for 10 hours, if not abuse? What? I cannot even think of another word suitable for that action. You were never spotted or stalked, but I can say you are the one that does the stalking. Your son was never, never one time ever locked in a room. I'm going to show you guys the unedited version of what she is talking about. Now you say that your son had home care nurses to which you also said that your nurses work from 7 o'clock to 5 o'clock or was it 4.30? One of those two. And as per our trusted and independent source, Lama Girl, who catches everything, and as you can see from this screenshot, this time stamped, as October 27, 2020 at 9.56 p.m., so Katie Joy, are your nurses stay-in nurses or were they working overtime? Totally rhetorical question. No group accused your husband of hitting your son, sweetie. You know that a certain person decided to edit that video and make all that shit up. But I believe that video is removed now. When you spoke about cops coming to your house for that specific court, you mentioned nothing about nurses being interviewed and if they were, how would they have known what was going on in that house after hours? Because let's not forget how she also blames the nurses for things she forgets to do for her son or keep up to date for her son or doesn't even do for her son. Like, remember the incident with the expired medication? That's supposed to be medication to save his life. Here's the clip. So let me show you what his medicine looks like. Just so you can see it. So the medication that they take for to save your life is called Solucortef. Oh, looks like we need to order some. But this is what it looks like. Here it is. A bunch of them. And you have to have needles. More though, because I only see one in there. This is one, I think this is expired. Yeah, they're all expired. They're all expired. Order some more. So, anyways, that tiny little bottle is not prominently carried. So, if you think of it this way, like epinephrine and those type of things are typically carried on a in an ambulance. But someone who has adrenal insufficiency, if they don't get that shot, they they can die. So, um,
No, well, we have a ton of them. So we order a ton of them, but we have nurses that X out and get rid of the expired ones. So we have an expired, you know, our nurses manage all of his medication. So there's a bucket with all of his expired meds and then they properly dispose If he has no pituitary gland, so he doesn't make any hormones. You have never been accused of grooming a child, but didn't you say that you can't wait to grow old so you can sexually arrest the young boys? Here's the clip, yeah. You know what I really look forward to? When I get old, I want to be the old grandma that like sexually harasses the young boys that walk by. As per usual, Katie Joy will say, oh, I was just joking. Your husband spent that afternoon in your room with the dog. Did you ever have a male dog? Because as far as I know, you have two female dogs and two male cats. Or maybe you class your dogs as non-binary. <laughs> I'm just saying, because like I said, Katie Joy has two female dogs, Frida and Sweetie. So you say your husband was exaggerating. What a way to insult your husband. When you guys watch the video that I'm going to play of the incident in question, let me know if Todd was exaggerating or just exhausted and was at his wit's end while she sat and lived her best life on an Instagram live. I love the way you call other people fools, Katie Joy. Some of those fools pay your bills, keep you living a good life, able to buy posh cars and keep that roof over your head and your family's head. You want to know my honest opinion? I do not for one minute believe Nat did whatever she did on her own. And this is my personal opinion. I think that Katie Joy knew about her disabilities and Katie Joy used it to her advantage. And things just got out of hand. Like I say, this is my personal opinion. I feel that Katie Joy uses people with disabilities to do fucked up things for her. And also, I will never forget, I remember seeing a live that AZ did with one of Katie Joy's ex-mods, where she said that Todd was very involved with Katie Joy's mods, that she even spoke to Todd. Yet, also when all this porn was being made about her son, she didn't even have the human decency to tell Todd, the father of the child, the man that was being accused of doing this horrible thing, she didn't even have the decency to tell him first, yet he found out about all this when she sat on an Instagram live and told her audience what was going on. I filed a false report in my state alleging that my husband sexually abused my son. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. You're kidding me? No, it's serious. You need to get that information to solve. Also, KJ, that is a huge stretch that someone tried to murder you with cops. All I can say is that out of everyone else reporting on the Gabby Petito story, someone called the FBI on you? In my personal opinion, Katie Joy herself concocted that up. The same way that she did when she started blaming Little Red for calling her son the odd word. Remember she did that on a live? And then she blamed the neighbors for ripping up a pride flag. Katie Joy will do anything to play victim or for look for sympathy or just to play victim. She says she did everything to protect her family. That is a joke because Katie Joy, you're the only one that is always putting your family in harm's way. No one else is deflecting Katie Joy. Once again, you decided to insert yourself in something or somebody else's story which has zero connection to you and all she had to do was step up for the victims, yet she decided to excuse Miranda, AKA Colleen Ballinger, and I stick to that. And the reason I said why she uses people to do her dirty work was when she said she learned a lot from Unirock. And even when she was doing or getting ready to do a live with Unirock, she coaxed Unirock to bring hatred towards Steve McRae by encouraging him to talk about Steve McRae on that live, behind the scenes, yet they were already live. Do this now. Yes, Nothing? yeah. You can hear music? It's low, but yeah. Okay, 
All right. Well, if we wanted to share like a video or something, we could technically then, I suppose. So. Um. So, so I'm sure you have like screenshots of stuff, right? Like. Oh yeah, and I can put them right up on my screen. Okay. So I can show things like, uh, like the stuff I was showing about. You know, I mean, I I have a whole Discord room full of stuff. Yeah. So what I was wondering is like, can you put up some of the screenshots of like him, like, um, I'm losing people. Okay. Yeah. If you want, just go ahead and type in there. We're about to go live guys. We're about to start or something in that way. And I want to go, they won't leave or anything. All right. Bam. I'm good to go live. I'm good to start whenever we want. Now, okay, so let me grab a couple of the things I have then, and then let me, if you tell me specifically things you would like me to show, or, you know, if you want to just do like a general discussion about things, um, whatever, I can actually pull it up. Now I can get my, my peeps to help me pull things like that up. So want. what I'm wanting, I mean, what I obviously want to do is like the whole, like, you know, I don't even know. Why don't you just... Well, let me go to my... Let me go to this room. I can, you know, make the kind, the same kind of presentation that I've made and discuss his. Uh, the, we would need to discuss the sexual harassment thing, of course, telling people we're not going to go into a lot of detail on it. Yeah. Uh, for obvious reasons, but I would, th I think the most important thing, if you were just to ask me, what would affect everybody the most is why this is happening, and just to tell what happened up to now, and to show people where they can find the, <clears throat> where they can find the evidence. <clears throat> I think that'd be the best thing. Well, why don't you sort of like lead the questions then? Like, I don't, the best thing is like, I don't want to directly like attack um, Sherelle. Um, as like frustrated as I am with her, I don't want to go low. Like, I just don't. I don't want to be like, oh, she's such a dumb bee. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. want, I want to be respectful because I understand how he works. And I, I know I that he can convince anyone I think you should show Steve saying the things that he said. <laughs> then show I mean, that. I mean, yeah. I really, I don't have anything How like, do you? I don't, I've never put anything like that on my channel. So why don't we play those? You know what I mean? Like I can play him like saying the most disgusting things to women and saying just like disgusting things to you. I think, look at this. Let me do this. Let me show you this. But my uh, biggest thing is this, like, my husband was, like, getting really frustrated last night because, like, you stop and you talk. So I feel like if we're going to show a clip, let's just show the full clip and not interrupt it so that people can digest it um, oh, sure. and then talk about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've got this clip, and I want, like, the way you could probably make it louder is if you go into, your, like, make sure that you've got your Discord sound so that Discord audio turned up and stuff like that oh we're we're live on my channel and then talk about it oh my gosh oh we are live okay no that's all good <laughs> hi everybody <laughs> i'm sorry hi guys sorry we're trying to get everything ready um hi guys I, i've got i've got the clip if you want me to play it so i mean it's pretty uh explicit but i think everybody needs to hear it to really you know understand but but we can go into it first if you want yeah hi guys i'm so sorry i didn't realize i was live i have no idea how i got live so katie Jo, i suggest you stop with all the lies and stop using other people's i mean real victim stories to weaponize other people and focus on what is important and that is what is best for you and your family so without further ado this is a video from the live where she is claiming that todd was in a room for 10 hours or should I say he was exaggerating he was in the room for 10 hours and she said he was in that room with their dog the female dog or the non-existent male dog so you guys can actually be the judge and see who is the real fool because she's the biggest fool to think that after people see this video that they will truly believe that Todd was in a room with their dog so you guys thank you so much for watching the video will play after this once again have a fantastic rest of your week please be safe out there please stay hydrated be kind to one another and don't forget to make good memories is he not asleep is he asleep 
Come on. I have spent ten hours in that room. you guys it's been a rough day for everyone everyone's tired he's not falling asleep everything will be fine <clears throat> he has insomnia yes but when he gets really emotional he has a hard time falling asleep and he's very emotional so I have to go because I need to take over for my husband. Um, he is at his wit's end. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And um, bye. Is he not asleep? Mm. Is he asleep? Come on. I have spent 10 hours in that room. you guys it's been a rough day for everyone everyone's tired he's not falling asleep everything will be fine <clears throat> he has insomnia yes but when he gets really emotional he has a hard time falling asleep and he's very emotional so I have to go because I need to take over for my husband. Um, he is at his wit's end. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And um, bye.